Everybody. What's up guys? For those of you who do not know me, my name is Om. I got started as a SEO guy, rather blogger, uh, back in 2005 when I was in college. You know, uh, those were the good old days when you could spam the shit out of internet, right? Anybody who still remembers? Um, sorry, that's not working. Ticker is not working. Can I have a different one? This one, it doesn't seem to be working, but yeah, let's get to know me until that starts happening. Last time I was here in 2019, uh, Bangkok, uh, when I was talking about running cash and delivery offers in India. So let's have a quick fragmentation of audience. Anybody who still does content SEO, give me a five. Oh, wow, lots of them. Awesome. How many e com guys here? E commerce folks? Okay, not too many left. Okay, all right. Any crypto heads? who are not too happy right now. <laughs> Crypto guys, okay, awesome. So we have a mixed bag here, cool. So yeah, my journey started as a spammer, as you would call it, right? Um, mainly Google AdSense. And in those good old days, I could just build microsites. So any of you tried the, those old microsite, like five page site or really spammy shitty sites, not with not too much content? No, I'll show you some examples. Right, and uh, my my talk is called 37k because I could have said like in three years a million dollars. Yes, I did it, but I want to break it down to you know smaller uh, portions and show you how to build a system. Because when you talk about a million dollars, it sounds cool, but when you start doing an SEO, it just doesn't work. Right? It's it's kind of uh, kind of hard to scale to a million dollars. So let's see how to build a system with let's say a 1K, then make it 10K, then 100K, and then look at seven figures, all right? Okay, so I run an SEO agency as well. Here's a little background. I've been in the affiliate space from 2013. I ran e-commerce. I also invest in startups. I do a bunch of other things. But today I'm back to my roots, which is SEO and content. So I also run a community called Bloggers World, which empowers uh, aspiring bloggers to learn how to start a blog and do stuff. Okay, so this was my very first Google AdSense account. And there is something about this $37,000 figure with me, right? I keep getting banned at that level, right? So I used to have a bunch of those accounts. Like anybody who had more than 10 Google AdSense accounts in a lifetime, give me a five. Anybody? No? Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> right? So I had like my family, friends, everybody I knew, right? Okay, give me your AdSense. Let me make some money from it, right? So I had like bunch of these accounts, like plenty of those accounts. And we were doing like six figures a month in like April 2011 with uh, these kind of accounts. And there was this something about this 37K number. That's why my talk is also titled as 37K, right? But we had plenty of those accounts. Anyway, so what we are going to look at in today's session is how to build microsites. How, what is still working for me in 2022? Yes, SEO has evolved a lot. Things have changed, you know, so it's not the same. So I'm going to show you the new things that I'm still doing, right? Uh, ideal AdSense placement. I don't think it's required for this crowd, but I'm just going to still show you some examples um, and thinking beyond AdSense. All right. So these were some of my uh, successful blogs in the day. So I've been an ardent car lover all my life. Yeah, they're very spammy. They're very spammy. Take a note of that, right? And when I was a kid, of course, I, was, I had no fucking idea about uh, CND, like cease and desist, right? So if, if my blog is called like audiafor.com, that's a big no-no, right? But I, I did it, yeah, I was a kid, right? So I started getting those CND requests to take down the blog. And I was thinking, okay, maybe this is a joke, right? Why would someone want me to take down my blog when I'm ranking on first page, right? But it doesn't work that way. You, you got to respect the trademarks, right? So yeah, I fucked up. And uh, in 2011, on May 18th, 2011, that was a dark day in my life. I got banned. I got six figures in AdSense across multiple accounts, right? And I had to do a fresh beginning. So that's when I got into affiliate space. But five years later, all of those blogs came back. 
So for those of you who do not know, Google bans you for five years in AdSense. Only five years. It's not a lifetime ban. And it comes back. And boy, did it come back. It came back and I had like almost 30K traffic after five years. And the good part was I had renewed those domains for five years. Lucky me, right? Otherwise, I would have given up long time ago. And suddenly I see there is a rush, right? Oh my God. Like I have so much traffic coming from, I don't know where the fuck is the traffic coming from, <laughs> right? And those were all back. And I'm like, yo, I'm back, <laughs> right? Okay, so I also run my uh, brand blog called omtoke.com on which I blog about many, many other things. And I built army of car blogs. So I'm going to show you what they look like. And if you pay attention to this one right here, that's a spammy, that's spammy as shit, right? 2012camry.info. So this was a five page site. Okay, the home page is like a wiki style article, about 2000 words. Okay, about the review of the car. Of course, we are talking about the Toyota Camry here, right? So 2012 model. I had built the site for 2012 model in 2011 itself. I was thinking ahead of time, right? And it was ranking. And this used to drive crazy, about 36,000 hits. This, mm, this little piece of shit used to drive almost 20,000 hits. And I still have small sites now which drive like 200, 300, 500, 1,000 hits a day, and it makes money. So yeah, never say never, OK? So for those of you who are trying to explore this SEO game, uh, the competition is much higher in the tier 1 and tier 2 markets. India is still nascent. I wouldn't say very nascent, but it's relatively easier to get into Indian markets. So if you start, let's say, a few blogs, you can become a consultant. You can start selling links. Hey, that's a very lucrative business, by the way. I, I have a network of around 5,000 blogs, and people buy like crazy. They buy links from us, right? So if you build, a, let's say, a system of 100 blogs, and you start selling links, it still makes a ton of money, even today. Okay? So you can start a consulting business. You can sell some e-books. You can do e-commerce. But that's not very relevant. How many media buyers here? Media buyers? OK, not too many. This is the first time on Affiliates World stage. I'm very happy to see more SEO guys here. That, 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 that's quite surprising, though. OK, so if, when you're doing media buying, of course, you need to have that. I mean, if you're trying to do SEO as a media buyer, you have to have that mindset. It's not going to work today. Not going to work for next few months, probably. So it's a little hard to let that sink in, that you cannot set an ad campaign tonight. And it's not going to work tomorrow. Google is, I mean, SEO is a painfully long process. It takes time, right? But if you are going to plan ahead of time for, like, say, next year, like I just finished Black Friday, I'm going to show you some of the results. So you cannot hope to rank in the next couple of months. You need to think ahead of time at least four to six months in advance, and then it's, it becomes way easier. But the good part about SEO, boy, you get results for, for a very long time. So I have blogs from 2008 who are still making me money, right? Good? Not bad? OK, so different ways to make money. I know you guys know AdSense. Uh, guest posting is very luc luc lucrative to sell. Uh, if you don't know what is guest posting, it's just you know, allowing someone to post an article on your site with a backlink. And they pay you money. I get uh, emails almost every day across my blogs, like, hey, Om, would you place this backlink for me? Take $100, take $50, take $200. So it's a lot of money. Uh, you can make far more money from uh, guest posting than Google AdSense. You can place text link, you can place banner ads, you can run your e e-com products. And if you start flipping those blogs, it gives you a significant amount of money as well. OK. So how I do things, right? I'm, I do things a little differently. I don't build big sites. I just build micro sites, like five pager, 10 pager maximum. So what do we have? A home page, which must have at least 2,000 to 3,000 words of content, nice content, juicy. Then you can have uh, four to five long tail keywords uh, targeted in a similar niche. And don't worry about what others are saying, right? People are saying, Health niche is saturated. Yes, it is, but not so much. 
So let's take an example. You say weight loss is saturated? Yes. So you say lose weight, lose weight fast, then you say lose weight fast in two weeks. So this is a long tail keyword, you can still rank it. You cannot rank on lose weight or uh, any mainstream keywords very easily. So th this example, uh, I love cars, so pardon me, some of my example or rather most of my examples would be around cars because this is where I made most of my money from. So let's say supercars, okay? So we narrow it down, supercars, Lambo, then any of the models inside Lambo, so the good old Urus SUV. So I picked up a keyword called Lamborghini SUV prices. Now you cannot have Lamborghini in your URL, that's not allowed. So what you can do, you can create a blog called suvprices.com and create a subdomain called lamborghini.suvprices.com. Then you're good. Nobody's going to ban you for that, okay? Uh, likewise, uh, during the Black Friday, we did a lot of hosting sales. So let's say Black Friday hosting deal. Then we can have inter-server hosting deal or inter-server hosting review or any of that. Uh, I will just need a little bit of water, if, we, if you may. Okay, so we also run uh, this bloggers.world where we give you keyword ideas of the day. You can head there, it's free. You can look at some ideas and start uh, pushing some of those. Okay, so I use a plugin called Keywords Everywhere, which gives you this, uh, this volume, CPC and competition, right? So just $10, you get 100,000 searches. It's not a very expensive tool. Okay. And then I have my own method, which I call double quote results. So if you search a keyword in quotes like this, whoops, sorry. Yeah. If you search a keyword like this, right, in quotes, so what you see here are number of pages which are trying to target this keyword in the title as well as in the body. It is not a clear indication whether you can rank easily for it, but when you see something like this, this is a clear indication that this is very, very high competition. Okay? So don't go after these. Go after the ones which are low competition. Of course, this is my way, right? It's, it's not the only way. There are different SEO experts. You would listen to a lot of other talks. They have different ways of doing things, but I'm sharing my way, which is still working for me. So I mostly look at the search count, which is more than, I mean, this is a bad example. If you look at something like this, where about results are more, this is an ideal one, but this is less. You are seeing Black Friday hosting offers as only 260. Now, how many of you believe that this is the right search? I don't think so, right? During Black Friday, everybody else is looking for deals, right? So this search volume goes way up. I would have gotten at least 1,000 hits from this keyword during this Black Friday, right? So whatever you see on Google is good throughout the year. But when there's an event, the traffic surges. So if you have already ranked for that keyword at least a week in advance, then you're going to get a ton of hits for that keyword. So if you look at something like this, this can give you a lot of sales, these. But if you target something like this, it's not going to be easy. Right Now, uh, there are only 10 spots in Google, right? You cannot create number 11. You've got to kick out one of them from top 10. So I look at someone, I, I look at at least one uh, target, which I can outrank easily, right? Uh, I don't go after too much of um, you know, search volume. Don't be too greedy. Don't try to look at a keyword which has like 100,000 searches. Rather look at lots of keywords which have 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 searches, preferably 30,000 searches, but sometimes it's okay if you can't find one. Uh, for those of you who are new, Web 2.0 sites are like hubs, uh, hub pages or Tumblr where, that you can create for free. So if you have been in the SEO industry for some time, you have this army of Web 2.0s. I probably own around 6,000, 7,000 Web 2.0s, so I can rank anything. It's easy for me. But it's okay if you're getting started, 
it takes time that's all right you start building those you know <clears throat> now this was the case study i was talking to you about this i had done during the ad world as a public case study of course you're not allowed to do this i did not monetize this site public disclaimer i did get reached out by lambo guys that please take it down enough of your experiment <laughs> right so look at that lamborghini suv prices you can get a ton of traffic from yahoo and bing as well hey it's only 16% but that's okay look at the search volume oh i didn't put the this keyword had 33000 searches a month right more than 1000 searches a day now even if 150 or 200 are coming from yahoo and bing that's not bad right if you can get more of these keywords you're good right you can you can still monetize those but not with this url that's not allowed don't do that i just did it for case study so it took me only 2 weeks to rank that and not too much i'll show you what all i did this was during last black friday and even if you notice the url that is called upcoming movies date i just did it purposefully to show people that there is no relevance of you know my my url doesn't need to be called black friday hosting deals.com okay if you look at this it says upcoming movies date isn't that funny but i took an angle i took a very different angle start your own movie or entertainment review site and in the end i had a link like if you want to start your site today buy this hostgator package or interserver package this was interserver so you can even rank those in google news and drive sales so this one had done about uh, i think yeah thousand dollars of sales in one day one single day and that's what uh, the title was unique okay what's still working for me uh, for me niche doesn't matter it's about the keyword right so i look at a uh, low competition keyword on page 1 i look at what resources i have the web 2.0s or relevant blogs and i just go after it right now we will see what is still working okay dqr method i've already told you so you saw that example i put three links from my own blogs i created five of web 2.0s i did not index any of them please remember this guys if your post is not getting indexed do not try to forcibly index it so what you do after a couple of weeks just put it in quotes go on google and see can you see your article if you cannot see your article try to make changes in the content don't forcibly try to index index put it in any indexer don't do that because if google is not finding your content valuable probably it's time to make some tweaks to that don't try to forcibly index anything right and i built about 100 backlinks from unique domains so like different ones article submissions and plenty of those we ranked on yahoo and google in about 2 weeks time it took me about 3 months to rank on google okay and look at that now cora is a killer i'm telling you look at these 226000 views on one single post of cora this and these are not even my top posts by the way <laughs> right plenty of traffic on cora you can drive and you can embed links in that it works as a backlink it gives you referral traffic you can promote products inside cora you know i had reviewed one of the shampoo it still gets me sales it's been like 7 years ago and that has about 300000 views on cora and it's a very small answer like people say which is the best anti dandruff shampoo i had been promoting a brand i just put an article out there i mean i just a cora reply and boom i get sales from it i get a backlink from it i get visibility i get everything right so not so bad you can do that on answers.com uh, just answer cora there are plenty of such sites so this is one uh, one of the accounts which has more than a million views i mean this is my main account i have plenty of other accounts on cora right so this can not only give you backlinks this can give you a lot of reputation you can become an influencer on cora people pay you money to write in case you didn't know that's a job by the way anybody new here that you can make money on cora as an influencer you get paid people approach me they say 100 bucks just write an answer for me 
which can at least potentially drive 100,000 views. So it can also supplement your income. And it takes five minutes to go on Quora and answer something, right? Okay. So what are the different kinds of backlinks that I use? Forum profiles, do they work still today? Only for forum? No. But along with everything, yes. So you go on relevant forums, register there, wait for one month, okay? Don't start spamming. Go on a forum, start adding value, start answering to people, and then there you go, sneak a link, okay? After four replies, this is my way. I go, hey, what's up? It's like I'm getting to know you. How is this? Then you answer one and then sneak a link. Okay, then three answers, sneak one more link. Four answers, sneak one more link. So that's the way to go about on uh, public forums, even on Quora. Don't do that. You know, go every time on Quora, start spamming, you will get banned very soon, sir. Right? So, um, if you have your own other blogs or your friends who have blogs in similar niche, you can ask links from them or buy them on forums or anywhere you want, right? Uh, .edu links still have a lot of value today. .gov, .edu links, they're not easy to find. If you are very lazy, it's going to be tough. If you have connects in colleges, approach the students, you know, uh, start an internship program. and just get your listing on the university site. You get a backlink, right? So th there are different ways. Just the way you cannot eat the same food every day, you cannot build the same kind of links every day, right? So it's got to be a mixture of forums, blog comments, posts, Quora, lots of other things, right? Uh, you can also bookmark on like folk.com. That's a very popular site. Uh, public bookmarks, in case you didn't know, hey, hello. Trello is not only for communicating, you can even bookmark, you know. I use every single platform for building links. I'm a shameless motherfucker, I don't care, right? Anywhere I go, I start building links. AWA, please give me a backlink, I don't care, right? Speaker profile, omtoke.com, why not? I love links, <laughs> right? Okay, so uh, if you build your Tumblr, your HubSpot, article directories, on eZine articles, I had authored more than 3,000 articles on that side when it used to still work. Now it is a little spammy, but that's okay. Uh, more ideas for you. There is another place called SiteGUR. If you go there, you will have to get this indexed. It's not going to get indexed automatically. So there, there is a way that, you know, tier one, tier two, tier three. So tier one has to be popular like Quora. Then supporting, you can have Web 2.0s. Then below them, book bookmarks or whatever you want. The crappy ones have to be low tier. Any crappy link directly going to your blog is a big no-no. Don't do that, okay? Then you have article directories, link directories. Uh, you can become a columnist on like, I was uh, author on about.com. You can approach Forbes, you can go to Thrive Global, you can go to BrightHub, plenty of these sites where you can do. Again, this is a little Indian example, but you can find something similar in your geography. There are meta search engines where you can still index your URL. You can submit infographics. You can do audio, video, PPT submissions. There are plenty of ways, guys, trust me. So the more you diversify your link profile, easier it gets. And Google feels that it's far more reliable, right? Credible. If you have more than 100 sources which are linking to your site, 100 unique sources, it's, it's considered far more valuable by Google. Okay, so my process, I look at long tails like this. So I ga again give you an example. This is a five lakh term is a little Indian term, which means 500,000. So this keyword had about 1,000 searches. I picked it up two years ago. I ranked it in three weeks, lasted for almost one and a half years until people started noticing my PPTs <laughs> and started going after this keyword. I was very happy, but it's okay. Sometimes you got to give some things to the crowd, right? Okay, there is very important table of content plugin, the TOC plugin, to rank for the zeroth position. It's very helpful, so use that. Again, I told you Quora already, register on forums. Um, then this was the case study already I told you. 
and now I am coming to the system. Okay, so if you want to build an army of blogs, five pages site, do you think you can day, do in one day, right? Five pages we can build in our day. If you are a lazy guy, you can hire a content writer, right? Pay him for five articles, maximum 25 bucks. If you are hiring from India, Philippines, or one of the non-tier one countries, it's going to be much cheaper over there. So let's say 25 bucks, right? Pick up a domain, a hosting package. I use Hostinger, Hostgator, and a couple of other uh, platforms. So maximum, what, are you, what do you have? We are looking at about, about $200 at the most a year. Build these and keep building them, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 10, 20, 50, 100. It has to be in dozens. You cannot build this system with like two or five sides. So this is some math magic for you. Some of you might be wondering, like, yeah, this, he's, this guy is talking about peanuts. Who the fuck cares about $100, right? Yeah, nobody does, I know. So how about you build an army, right? So let's say we are talking about $1 a day, right? That's not much. Very doable, penny. So if you have 360 as earning, 200 as cost, about 150 a year profit, and you keep building one every day. For the next 240 days, it still becomes 40 grand a year. Now here's the fun, right? This is one of my AdSense accounts. Again, it goes towards that coveted $37,000 mark and keeps getting banned somehow. Okay, this was also there. Again, had got banned around 37. There's something with 37, right? No more 69, just 37 for me. <laughs> OK, so if you have e-commerce uh, portal, you can still do that. Uh, during my Shopping Corner days, we had a portal called Shopping Corner uh, for running e-com offers. We were not doing much. But now we've started Queen Store, and we are doing SEO for that. So let's assume you have a product which is about 30 bucks. Even if you get one free sale a day from SEO, it's 1,000 bucks of free sale every month for you, right? So everything kind of adds up, right? So if you look at SEO, you might feel, OK, this is not much money. I can't survive with this, right? That's very, that's very correct. But if you're doing media buying alongside that, you start doing SEO for the next year or year and a half, it can add up. You know, like I said, I still get paid from things I have done in 2008, 10, 12, 15, 17. I don't even remember. Sometimes I see money, I wonder, like, where did this come from? And I realize, oh, I did something in 2007. Still pays me. So not bad. And it, it's going to, OK, so you can also promote affiliate offers, right? These are some of the networks I work with, the Indian networks. You can find it in the networking zone, and uh, you can find their stalls. They're all around here. We commission, Zap Ads, Value Leaf, Silver Push, Brandmark, Ad Titans, plenty of them, Dangle Ads, Flex3, iCubes. I work with all of them. And again, if you have a review site, you can look at you know, all, of, all kinds of offers, even Fiverr. So many things have promoted. These sales keep coming. You know, they, they just keep coming because if you rank for something and leave it for next eight months, you would wake up one day to a nice surprise, right? Okay, so this is my system. I have now currently about 5,000. It is not following this number, so I am not able to generate a million from it. But yes, it does give me decent amount of money by selling links and Google AdSense. And once you start flipping, anybody has ever flipped a blog on Flippa or Empire Flippers? Anybody sold? Yeah? I think. What was the valuation about? Like 20x? 16x, yeah. So I sold content sites usually uh, in 25 to 30x multiples. So if you, are, if you have a site that does about $1,000 a month, you can look at a handsome 30, 35 grands easily there, right? So this, this system can be very lucrative if you know, you start building it up. And you can go to six figures, seven figures only by selling. You cannot build, like, you will have to build way too many microsites. But, but you can build this as a system if you are able to flip them. And yeah, why not? You know? 
So why isn't everyone doing? People are lazy. There's no other reason I know of. <laughs> you know, people listen to the talk then say, "Oh, this is too much work." You know, let me try media buying again. Then they do media buying. They say it's very expensive. Q4s, the CPMs are through the roof. It's not working. They leave it. Then again, look at SEO, and then they say, "Oh, it's too much work. I'm going to try it next year." It becomes like your New Year resolution, right? So don't do that. And as usual, it's good to attend AWA and all these networking conferences, right? Uh, you meet people, you exchange contacts, exchange backlinks. Don't forget to ask backlinks today if you are an SEO. Don't be shameful. I have no shame. You might shake hands with me. I'm going to ask you, how about my backlink? You like my session? Give me a backlink, right? It doesn't hurt to ask. I mean, I'm kidding, but in a subtle way, you can do that, right? So that's about it from my side, and I'm happy to take questions.